Which you guys got another video here for you. Forced Windows 11 24H2 update will now automatically install on your computer unless you have it blocked. You can see I've got 23H2 running on this system right here. And of course, if you go to the settings panel and Windows update, this will automatically start to download 24H2 without even you clicking on anything. And then once it's downloaded, this is going to automatically start to install this on your computer. Now, for a while, Microsoft have let you have the choice of installing 24H2, but now they've taken that choice away and it's now automatically installing 24H2 on your PC. Now, before we continue, a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro, cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the link in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R 09. Apply that to your order. Get a 30% discount on all your purchases. They will send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows just like this on the screen. Anyway, now 23H2 still has some time left on it up until November at least before it reaches end of life. So why is Microsoft all of a sudden trying to force you to install 24H2. It's probably because 24H2 got such a bad rap with the amount of bugs that it's had uh, since its release. So a lot of people have paused updates and stayed on 23H2. But if you look at Windows 11 Home and Pro Editions right here and the releases, you can see 21H2 is reached end of life. 22H2 is also reached end of life. 23H2 has up until November 11th, 2025, which means you still have up until November to roll out an update on your system. What does that mean to you? Well, that means you will still receive plenty of security updates and everything else for 23H2. So there's no real rush to update to 24H2. So Microsoft have taken upon themselves to force you into installing 24H2 without giving you a choice anymore. So it's just basically going to roll out this update and install it on your system unless you have a policy set to block any feature updates until you're ready to install them. So basically what will happen is it will start to download like this and then it's going to reach its install like so. Now if you're already on 24H2 then this is not so much of a big deal for you but if you are on 23H2 and it starts to install 24H2 and you notice it, you can actually still pause that update and stop it installing by clicking on the pause updates button inside the Windows update panel right here. So you can stop it in its tracks. It will take a bit of time and you may need to restart the PC and then you'll be paused. And you're only going to have a number of weeks before that will start again. So that means that you would have to then go into at your registry or go into the actual group policy editor and set it so it doesn't install any feature updates until November or whenever you decide to install that feature update. Now, of course, I've already made a video on that, so I'm not going to go through this whole process again. This is just to bring you awareness of basically what is actually happening behind the scenes and what will happen to you if you're not ready for 24H2, then you might want to do something about it before it rolls out this update. Now, I did pause it in time, and you can see I'm still on 23H2, so I still have plenty of time to actually stop it and, uh, you know, basically block this feature update if I wanted to for the time being. So when you click on continue here, it's going to continue, and it will start to download the 24H2 automatically right here, and I'll get to the end, and I'll show you automatically installing as well. So I've speeded that process up. We should hit 99% right now. And straight away, as soon as it hits the download, it will go straight away into the install of that particular feature update. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Just a really quick video today. So my name has been Brian from brightsetcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on our Discord server. The link is in the video description. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.